In this little video, I'm going to show you how to have a nice and easy way to replace some of the functionality that we've lost with the live meeting add-in for those of you that were using the Outlook um, add-in for live meeting. Uh, what it did for those of you that weren't using it was uh, allow you to automatically plug in your conference call information, your dial-in information, whenever you scheduled a live meeting. With the new functionality from Link, uh, most of the, the, the sharing and uh, presentation uh, tools uh, th that we've come to know and love or hate with live meeting are still there. But with the plugin that's provided, we don't have that uh, capability to have it automatically plug in the dial information. So you're left either uh, manually keying it in each time or doing one I'm going to show you how to do. So uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to create a dummy meeting. And uh, to do that, we'll just click on the date that we want it to be in. We're going to click on new online meeting with the link icon up here. It plugs in the information here uh, for, for joining the online meeting. However, it does not provide the dial-in information. If you go to meeting options, you can see that there are some options available for uh, tweaking what the, the, the meeting is going to be uh, presented like and, and who will be the presenters. But there isn't any opportunity to plug in the, the dial-in information. So the way that we're going to get around this is by uh, s selecting uh, some text and creating what's called a quick part. I've took the liberty of going ahead and um, putting in my clipboard the information that I want to use as a quick part. So I'm going to paste that in to save the time and trouble of typing. Uh, all we have to do is highlight that, go to insert, quick parts drop down, save selection to quick part gallery. And we're going to name this something that will be um, memorable to us, you know, something that's going to be easy to remember and that we can then use later when we actually go to create a, uh, a meeting. And I'll show you how that works in just a moment. So we'll give this a brief description. Conference call um, meeting info and click OK. And now we have our quick part created. And the way that it's going to work, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this one and start over again. So uh, you, can, you can see clearly how this is going to work. So we click new online meeting. It's going to once again paste in the information from link so that we have the, the online meeting. And then once I begin to type in dial in, I get prompted by Outlook now to insert the information that we selected and, and saved as our quick part. So I just hit enter and there I have it and then I can fill in the rest of the meeting info right there and uh, send it out and my participants then, uh, my attendees then have that information in there. And I don't have to type it in each time. Very stupid simple. And that is it in a nutshell.